Oh, my God, fathers, what hot day it is. So dusty and dry. <coughs> we are all waiting for the monsoons to break, then we can get some rain. Oh, it is so lovely when the rains come here in India. All our plants and flowers begin to bloom, just like your English spring, when your young lambs are born. Our little creatures are also born. Baby cobras, baby pythons, <laughs> baby scorpions, and baby spiders. Oh, it is such delight. And what could be nicer than a glass of pure water from the heavens above, huh? Sirf ek cheez, Ranji, aur wo hai glass of beer. Shit up straight when you are punkering. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, it's hot. Oh, it's a dash nuisance. I'm trying to write this letter to my wife, but the sweat keeps dripping off my face and smudging the ink. I shall have to write it all out again now. Oh, I shouldn't bother. Just put P.S. I miss you and she'll think it's tears. <laughs> it's like an oven in this office. Oh. <clears throat> Panka Carew. Look here, then, Myra. Good heavens. Sir, guess what the thermometer's reading? Something light. Agatha Christie. <laughs> Some people always have to make silly jokes. Well, that was rather rude, Ashwood. I'm terribly sorry. This, is, this this dreadful humidity. It's making me all nervy and on edge. Well, pull yourself together. My word, sir. Does you know what the thermometer is reading? The decline and fall of the Roman Empire? <laughs> <laughs> 108 degrees, sir. I know the monsoon isn't due for another week. Let's hope it doesn't get very much hotter. Always a difficult time here in India, sir. I've seen men go stark raving mad. You hear that, Ashford? You better watch out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, I've had this report from the MO. The concert party's in a bad way. They're all suffering from prickly heat. Well, that is because they will not take their salt tablets, sir. Well, you better see they do. We'll see to it right away, sir. Yes, sir, Major Sam. Shut up. What's the concert party doing? Oh, sir, they're all very sicky with the prickly heat. <laughs> state on their chart boys. <laughs> oh dear, how sad. Never mind. We must see what we can do to relieve their suffering. Go the MO, get a lot of salt tablets, Jolly. Bago, bago! I just had not make it up. Sleepy time, girl. You're turning your night into day. Sleepy time, girl. You dance the <laughs> I was delirious. You see. Shut up! <laughs> How dare you lie in bed in the middle of the day? But we're sick! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Come on! I said that don't care. Move yourself! Move yourself! Come on, Bombardier! Get them men! Move it! Move, move, move! Yes, Sergeant Major, come on, move it! Move. Then drop it, Sergeant! Stand it for me! Hard time! Stand that ice! It's that easy! Stop scratching! <laughs> Sorry, I, I can't help it, Sergeant Major. It's just prickly heat! Shut up! <laughs> Never orders clearly state that British other ranks will not scratch their prickly heat bumps. <laughs> Leave yourself alone, Bombardier, or I will make you wear boxing gloves. <laughs> <laughs> Pay attention, lovely boys. This is the oddest time of the year. But we are not going to give in. We are going to fight it. <laughs> British soldiers has always fought the heat, and that is how... The British Empire was built with plenty of guts. Savek Bato kana bhuli gaye and plenty of gin and tonic. In other hot climates, them foreigners do not know how to fight the heat. Every afternoon, they has what is called a fiesta. They light around under banana trees with their hats over their eyes having a kip. Now, why do we not lie around under banana trees? Gonna suck them. Because you won't let us. <laughs> Stop! Because we are British. We get off our backsides and defy the sun. Come on, let's see you do it. When I say defy the sun, you say 
Come on, son, do you a worst. Ready? <laughs> Defy the sun. Come on, son. Come on, son. <laughs> but that is no good. Because the sun is not afraid of a lord of force. <laughs> do it like men. Make the sun tremble with fear. Defy it. Again, on this time, shake your fists at it. Defy the sun! Come on, sun, do your worst! Again, defy the sun! Come on, sun, do your worst! I say, what's going on, Sergeant Major? Oh, I'm uh, I'm just telling the men to fight the sun, sir. Oh, good show. Carry on. <laughs> the sun isn't an anatomical entity. It's an inanimate object. How can we possibly fight it, Sergeant Major? How can we possibly fight it, Sergeant Major? <laughs> Well, let me tell you, Mr. Lardy, I'm going to the British Army can fight anything, intimate or not. <laughs> Stop scratching, stand still! <laughs> well, let the chat in. Now, lovely boys, I is going to make you do something which I cannot rely on you to do on your own. And you all know what that is, don't you? Must we do it out here on the barrack square, Sergeant Major? <laughs> After all, we're not children. Shut up. Get your pialas and hold them out. <laughs> Fill them up, Bearer. I said I remain enough. They is going to need a lot of Pawnee to take their salt tablets. Now, on the command one, you will open your mouths and stick out your tongues. Watch it then. What? <laughs> what do not you? <laughs> Where's that salt tablets? Oh, yes, sir. Right. Keep your tongue still. <laughs> Beautiful tongue, boy. <laughs> Keep your tongue still, Sagan. You have an idle tongue. I will not have idle tongues on parade. <laughs> right. Tongues in, mouths closed. Oh, I know you was crafty enough to hide them little salt tablets in your big mouth till my back is turned and then spit them out. So, you is going to crunch them. <laughs> Start crunching. Crunch, crunch! Drink! Mouth open, time's out, eyes left. <laughs> I see, sir. The men are all sticking their tongues out of the sergeant major. <laughs> Order me to put them on a charge, rinse the board uh, in some uh, thingy. <laughs> Do use your intelligence, Ashwood. I don't want them all stamping in here in their heavy boots. It's far too hot. Come away and pretend you haven't seen them. Crunch! <laughs> Let me go, you crunching! Crunch, crunch! <laughs> Drink! <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, Sergeant Major, but when do you take your salt tablets? Let me tell you, Mr. Lardy, I'm going to Graham. I've had more salt tablets than you've had hot dinner. I will show you. Right? I'll show you. Huh? Still sticking their tongues out, Sergeant Major Ashworth? No, sir. Oh, good. The Sergeant Major's sticking his tongue out of the mirror. <laughs> Actually, that's all right. He's allowed to do it to them. 